okay? So I've got a disassemble bolt here. Now, there's a couple of different ways you can do what you, the, the, the most important part uh, for me is the bolt roller, okay? It's the most uh, overlooked or neglected or improperly lubed portion of the gun. Okay, so uh, Battle Arms Development came up with this very handy tool, the BAD T1 tool. Now this big uh, opening up right here, this is a uh, greasing tool. Okay, so what we're going to do is if you have one of these, you can also get them from Badger Ordnance as well. Okay, and what it does, it's gonna, what you're going to do is you're going to fill it with grease and you're going to push the bolt into the uh, into this hole and what it's going to do is going to pack the, the grease into the bearing, into the bolt roller. And that's going to help your bolt roller uh, last quite a bit longer. Okay, and again, this is a, a pretty important one. It doesn't take much grease because it's a pretty tight fit. So you just want to put a little bit in there so it's full. Okay, give you a little idea there. All right, and what you're going to want to do is just uh, put that bolt roller and you want to press it in. Okay, and you're, it's actually going to kind of suck down on it. So just press it in there a few times, put the grease back in. Okay, just kind of work the grease back in there and then just keep on pressing it in. And what that does, it's going to force the grease back into the, into the bearing itself. Okay. Now there's uh, a couple of other ways you could do this. I'll wipe off the excess here and just kind of start over. But some people actually get a spent 45 casing, okay? And you clean out the inside of it so it's nice and shiny. And I, I, I can imagine some people probably cut it shorter because you can stick the bolt roller in there, but there's quite a bit of room in there, okay? So um, you'd really have to pack this thing full of a lot of grease to get the same effect that you would from one of these tools or, or one of the ones that Badger Ordnance sells. Now there's the old school way as well. For some of you guys that are a little older or maybe some of you grease monkeys out there that, uh, that, that uh, do a lot of their own car work. Okay, so what you can do is you can get a little bit of grease and just put it in the palm of your hand. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna, um, just like packing a, a wheel bearing, okay, you wanna kinda push on the roller to create a gap uh, right there on the, uh, the mating surface there and you want to just kind of pack grease in and then rotate the bolt roller, apply pressure and you want to force it into the roller. Okay, And, uh, and then again once it's packed in you want to just kind of wipe off the excess and wipe off your hands of course. So we'll go ahead and continue with the bolt. Um, I've already got some here, so we're just going to go ahead and coat the contact surfaces of the bolt. Uh, since I've already got a whole bunch on my finger there, I'll just spread it around there. So you got the underside here. We'll grab the paintbrush here. We're going to get uh, the shiny spots on the lug. I basically pretty much coat the lug on all sides. And again, like I said, it's really not that much grease, but it looks like a lot more than it actually is. Okay. Um, I get the bolt face where you could tell that it has contact with the barrel. So again, any of the shiny spots there, okay. I get the uh, back of the bolt where this shiny spot is. This is the part that's going to ride up on the inside of the receiver. And also this, uh, this little leg over here, this is going to have a sideways pressure so it's pretty much always going to wear, I, I think it's always going to wear uh, within the inside portion of the receiver. That would be the left side of the receiver. So. You want to get that spot, any shiny spots over here. Um, what you do not want to do, you do not want to lubricate the inside of the firing pin channel. Okay, what this can do is uh, it, if you lubricate it, you can get junk in there and it can jam up the firing pin. So run a Q-tip in there and make sure it comes out nice and dry. So none in that area at all. That's a kind of a forbidden area. You want that to be, that area so to be, let's dry. not forget the uh, the ejector. Um, so what you're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of, uh, I usually actually just put a little bit of oil on uh, on the ejector. Okay, just lightly coat it with my fingers. And we'll go ahead and stick that inside there. And this is your extractor, extractor spring. Again, just get a little dab of oil and I just lightly coat them. And throw that in there, okay. 
and the firing pin again make sure it's dry so we'll actually just get a rag and, and dry any oil that may be on it uh, let's dry that off so once you have your bolt completely lubricated pretty much that's about the last portion as far as the uh, the barreled action assembly goes so we're going to go ahead and move on to the trigger group okay, so here we have the uh, we have a, a GI trigger group here and what we're going to do is we're just going to get a little bit of grease and we're going to hit some important parts now forgive me if I get some of the nomenclature wrong on this I'm not sure if I uh, if I know the correct uh, nomenclature on all this stuff like that but again you'll see what I'm doing um, pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for shiny spots again where this this is the area where the bolt is going to ride over the hammer okay and it's going to reset it so we're just going to throw a little bit there um, we're going to grease up the hammer hooks here both sides and we're going to I believe this is the sear so we will we'll hit that and we'll also hit uh, this other portion as well and this is your safety this is a I'm not really sure what, what they call that but anyway that's the safety I'm not really sure what to call that contact point but you want to hit those points up right there with grease okay and pretty much um, I think that's about it we also want to hit the trigger latch as well and just put a little bit there um, now from here what you can do is you can use some oil I like to just uh, you can also cock this hammer when you cock the hammer that allows you to uh, close your trigger latch okay so I like to put a little bit of oil just right here just uh, put a little drop there on the pins and just kind of rub that in um, pretty much if there's a pivot point or a pin go ahead and put a drop of it on there as well and just wipe off the excess um, what you also want to do um, hit both sides here Uh, we also want to drop some inside the uh, the mainspring. Okay, so just put a, a drop of lubricant in there as well. Hope you can see that. And just uh, work the spring back and forth a little bit and get the oil going in there. Um, that part of the trigger group can collect quite a bit of uh, moisture, and I've seen inside there that be kind of rusty or, or uh, you know, you could tell that it's it needed a little bit of lubricant. Okay. So with that, uh, I would say that's about it for your trigger group. Uh, so we've got all the major points, right? We've got the top of the hammer, the hammer hooks, the safety, the sear, and the second stage. We've got all our pivot points, okay? And we've got uh, the trigger latch. And if you want to, if you can fit any in there, uh, which is very hard to see, but inside, um, let's get my firing pin here. Down in this hole, there's going to be the spring for the... Uh, magazine latch. So if you can access that hole, if you can access that that, uh, that spring, it would be good to get some in there as well because that one can collect a lot of uh, a lot of gunk and a lot of moisture as well. So with that, uh, I believe that's it as far as lubrication points. I'll see if I can remember any uh, that may have escaped my mind, but um, pretty much I think that's about it. On with, uh, with assembly.